This is part two of a series of videos on how to fix a Keurig that has stopped pumping water. After you have checked the uh, reservoir filter, uh, as I showed in my first video, uh, and cleaned it and made sure it's flowing correctly, uh, you can uh, then move on to the next step, which is looking at the check valve. So for this, you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver, wire cutters or fingernail clippers will work, and a zip tie to replace one that you're going to cut off. So when you come to your Keurig, open it up like this, and inside, there are two screws here, one here and one here. Both of those need to come out. Take your Phillips head screwdriver make sure when they fall that you find them they're real easy to lose don't do this over the sink drop those and then you'll be taking out you'll be doing some plumbing on your sink okay those come out and then this is a tricky part bring it up push it back just a hair push it back that way and it will come out. Okay, if you just pull on it, it won't come out. The next thing you do is you're going to clip this uh, zip tie. I've already cleaned this one, so that has a new zip tie on there, but I'm going to sacrifice it. Clip it just like that, and it comes right off. And then take this apart here. It pulls apart gently. You don't have to take this zip tie off. And then over here, you can either try to take these off. I don't have a, a Phillips head screwdriver that's small enough. So instead of that, just pull on it and it'll come out of this housing. Hold it over here. There we go. and it comes apart. This is your check valve. This can get plugged, and if this is plugged, if this part inside stops moving, then your Keurig isn't gonna work. You can unplug it by blowing into it, running water through it, running water through it with your mouth, soaking it in vinegar. If you put this end in a cup that has vinegar in it, you can suck vinegar through it, don't get it in your mouth, it tastes gross, and let it sit there for a while, and that'll clean up the parts inside. Okay, once that's moving freely, you put it back together. Remember which way you took it apart? The hard plastic part goes in under this uh, mounting bracket, and it should just push right in, like that. Not too much pressure, and then that's together, This goes back in. You might have to work it back and forth. It's a nice snug fit. And once it's pushed all the way in, like that, you take your zip tie Run it around. Let me get that pushed in so it's all the way in. There we go. Run it around like that. And the zip tie needs to be next to the end of this, of this uh, silicone piece here. Not on this side, it won't hold anything if it's here. It needs to be over here, like that. Snug that down, and now, I told you you could use nail clippers. You could have used these to take it off in the first place. Clip off the excess. Then try brewing your coffee again. It should work. Um, to 
put it back together. This goes on top. Kind of have to wiggle it in place until it gets in there like that. Oh. You want to make sure the back doesn't pop up. Good. That doesn't want to come up. You found those hooks in there and they've hooked up. And now you put your screws back in there and you're done.